Hey everybody, welcome to Figure Feedback. My name is Jeremy and this video is for anybody who owns an AnyCubic Wash & Cure 2.0. Now as good as that system is, there is a problem when you're trying to wash smaller things like miniatures or really small pieces. And that problem is that there's a chance that they could fall through the basket and through the little openings in the basket and get lost in the wash tank or possibly destroyed by the impeller that's spinning around underneath but there is a potential solution. If you happen to also have a filament-based 3D printer, you can go over to Thingiverse by following the link in the description and you can print yourself out one of these. This is a 3D printed mesh basket insert that you can put inside of the metal wash basket. And what it does is not only does it give you a little bit more clearance away from that impeller, but the openings are smaller than what the basket offers. So it reduces the chances of your little parts potentially falling into the wash or getting destroyed by that impeller. Now for an example here for miniatures, let's take this little guy here who's totally not from Warhammer. What are you talking about? Notice how he's got this little gun here and this is the type of thing that could possibly go through the metal basket. In these little tiny flagpole type things that are also sticking out, it's also a risk. So what I can just do is put him inside of this little basket here and now the chances of that gun getting through this, going through the basket underneath and getting destroyed by the impeller is significantly reduced. And the same thing goes for the little flag poles that's sitting on top of him. I can rest assured knowing that most likely it will be safe inside of this basket. Now this guy is already washed and cured, but I already have some prints that are just about ready to be finished that I need to wash. And they're also miniatures and they also have some parts that would concern me if they were just in the basket by themselves. So let's put this into action and show you how this thing works. So the miniatures that I chose to try this out with are these little guys right here. These are Vulcan Dwarves from the uh, Cast and Play uh, My Mini Factory Tribe. And I wanted to pick these little figures here because as you can see, they have a lot of like really pointy bits on them. You know, let's see these weapons that just sort of come out like this. And then we also have like these dinosaur type of creatures that got like these horns that kind of stick out and these are the types of things that i would be worried about getting destroyed inside of a, of a wash and cure station like this so let's take a look at this basket here and you see how in this basket i mean look at all of these really big holes you know the, these openings that are right here that's just sort of perfect for you know something like these horns to just kind of go up in there and then possibly you know just get shredded get destroyed when you're trying to wash one of your prints but now that i have this basket here i'm just going to insert it, it all right so i just put it down in the basket just like that um, you have to like, sort of give it a little bit of a twist, you know, but it's not too difficult. It does fit like you see and now I can just take these figures and Just kind of Gingerly put them in here, you know, one of the other problems about the wash and cure station is that they The opening is really really narrow and that's one thing that I wish that they would fix perhaps with another iteration So I'll just put these guys in here And as you can see, there's nothing that is sticking out from the bottom. Nothing's going to get through and get destroyed by the impeller. They're just all hanging out right there inside of the basket. So now I can just lower this down into the washing station, pop the lid on and start the wash. All right, so the wash is done. Let's take a look at our little figures here. Let's pull this out. Let it drain just for a second, but check it out. Got all our figures here. Everybody still looks like they are nice and intact and hopefully I can keep them that way as I take them out of this basket. But yeah, 
look at all of his little pointy bits they are all still there the horns are still there and this is exactly what i was looking for now i'm just going to take this basket out there we go still got to do some research on how pla reacts to being an isopropyl alcohol but until i figure that out i'm just going to leave that out and just put the basket right back into the bucket and i'm done and this thing is so freaking convenient to have so i'm just going to leave it down here on the table so now i'm just going to get these miniatures dried get them cured and bring them back upstairs I'm telling you guys, that basket is incredibly useful and these miniatures came out great. Really do love this Vulcan Dwarves line from Cast and Play. These characters just have so much personality and there's a very nice scope for all of them and different effects. This is really the type of thing that I'm into. So anyway, if you want to print out that insert for yourself, again, check out the description. I'm going to leave a link down there to Thingiverse where you can print it out and it is for the Anycube washing cure 2.0 and trust me if you print that out you will not regret it it is awesome so thank you all so much for watching this episode of figure feedback and be sure to subscribe to come back later for some more 3d print related videos and figure videos and everything else in between so until then take care of yourselves and i'll see you next time